Hello and welcome to this session on Postman Beginner Tutorial. Today we are going to learn what is environment and how do we create environment. So we are going to go very basic step by step and we will see what is an environment in Postman, how do we create environment, how do we use environment and then how do we delete environment. So let's begin and environment is a set of key value pairs in Postman and we can use this key value pairs and refer it into our requests and test. So let us see how to do that. So I'm going to open my Postman and here at the launch window you have this option to create an environment and before we create an environment let me just close this. We are going to create a new request. So in the earlier sessions we have already created collection 1 and we have these two get user request so I am going to create a new request so I will go to my browser and I am going to this website requres.in and they have some sample APIs for us so I am going to create a post request so let me create a register user post request and this is the URL and this is the endpoint so what I will do is I will go to my postman and first I will create a new folder inside the collection so I will click on these three dots and say add folder and I will keep the folder name as post so that all the post requests will come here and say create and then I will go to this new tab and say create a new request and I will name it as user registration and select post and I will say save to post. So you can see we have a new request created here. So let me create this as post and here I will enter the URL or the endpoint. So I will go to my browser, copy this URL here and again copy the endpoint from here. This is the endpoint. Copy this and again paste it here in my postman. And then in the body, I am going to enter this body of the request. So I will click on raw and just paste the body here and now I will try to run it. So I will click on send and let me see it is saying missing email or username. So let me go to the headers and here and in the headers I am going to add content type equals application JSON and save and run it again and now we are getting that token. Also you can click on this button here you can click on this button to, so that you can see two pin view and here you can see if I send it now I am getting back the token. So now when we work with real time and real world APIs we know that we might have to test our APIs on multiple environments and by multiple environments we mean that they will be different endpoints, different username, passwords and different values for different environments. So there are a set of values which vary with the environment and there are some set of values that do not change. So the set of values that vary with the environment can be grouped together and set into an environment. So now let us see how do we use it. So to create a new environment we can either go to this gear icon which is for manage environments and if you go here you can click on add to create a new environment and also you can go to this new button here. So I will go here new and select environment and you can name your environment here. So let us say this is a queue environment and there will be some set of values which will vary with the environment. So one of the common things that change with the environment is the endpoint. So let me say this is endpoint and then let us say uh, email and let us say password. So I will just add this and I have to add the values here. Let us say for queue environment, this is the value for our endpoint. So I will copy it from here and go to our environments 
and paste it here and for email I am going to copy this one go to the environments and paste it here and for password this is the one copy it from here go to the environment and paste in the password field and now I will be referring them here this is the endpoint and here it should take the email and here we will refer the password now once we have set the values if you see here there is a drop down for environment and from here you can select your environment so we are going to select Q environment and let us run and test our request and yes we are getting a token back so that means our request is working fine now similarly the same request we might have to test on different environments and for that what we can do is again go to manage environment and here we can duplicate the environment by clicking on this duplicate button and let me say this is a pre-prod environment and here we will have different values for endpoint so let's say the endpoint will be this and again the email will be let us say sydney preprod and the password is pistol preprod now these are not valid values i am just using it for the demonstration purposes and now we have a preprod environment as well i will update it and then close it and now if you go to this drop down you can see now we have preprod and qa now the advantage here is whenever you have to test your apis on any of these environment you do not have to worry on changing the endpoints username passwords and all the other environment dependent variables you just have to select the environment from here and run your api requests also if you go to collection and you go to collection runner from here you again get the option to select the environment here so when you will have a lot of APIs and they will have a lot of variables and a lot of environment dependent variables this will be very useful you will never have to do a lot of rework and change a lot of places you just have to put all your environment dependent variables in environment select the environment from here and then run your requests and when you want to delete any environment you can again go to this manage environment and from here you have the option to delete an environment so this is how you can create and manage environments in postman i hope this session was very useful for you please hit the like button and share with others and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel i will meet you in the next episode of postman thank you for watching